been thinking about you Made me wanna try and undo Everything that hurt you bad Oh, Joff, Joff's back in his motorhome. And uh, how is my driving? How's your driving? Uh, I just thought I'd do a little uh, talk on um, some of the things that I think is important. So when you're driving your motorhome, driving vehicles, well, I drive a lot of vehicles, different vehicles, and uh, we do some... Uh, a lot, of, a lot of driving, a lot of driving, on the road driving, uh, England and abroad, uh, you know how much driving we do abroad, so the majority I think in the past of my driving in a motorhome has been over the water, uh, so I just hope I can keep influencing these people that um, keep messaging me and saying, oh great, you know, you're sort of like just on the verge, I'm thinking about going, um, so I'm just going to try and give you a few little tips um, about like my sort of driving attitude. Yeah, when I get carved up and someone tries to take me front wing off, I'm as, as aggressive as anybody else. And you will get it. Um, just recently, uh, people hogging the middle lane. You've, you've been out there, you've seen it. People are just, and you, I've actually undertaken, bit naughty, admittedly, and always keeping an eye on this to make sure they're not going to pull over. But, um, and a lot of the time, you look in the car and they're not even, they're not even aware of you undertaking them on the inside lane of the motorway and uh, that's what it's like out there unfortunately you've just got to literally say to yourself you know if, if if you know how to use the motorway lanes you're a better driver than they are and uh, that's all you got to worry about and it's just keeping mentally aware that is the situation of like keeping aware of what other people are doing especially when you're abroad you don't want problems when you're abroad you can't even speak that i can't even speak the language that well um with the translate apps and stuff now possibly um it might be a bit easier but if you can steer away from any of that aggravation that's what we try and do um the greatest thing about a motorhome is the fact that you have got everything you possibly need to keep yourself in tip-top condition as regards if you are traveling and you are feeling tired and uh, you you want to take a break this is the best vehicle ever in the winter you can put the heat in on you can um, lie down on the bed you can have a little nap for an hour that makes you sometimes that makes you feel a whole lot better i've done it many a time you just get to that point of uh I'm just going, for, I'm touching the pain barrier now. You start, oh, I've driven a long way. I'm losing that concentration a lot. And um, that's when you become dangerous. So you're better off pulling over and taking a break. And uh, that's why I love this configuration of motorhome because that bed, you don't have to make up a bed. You can just literally go up and lie down on it, pull the blinds down, lock the door, boom. And uh, when you wake up, Make yourself a cup of coffee. On the recent road trip uh, that we did over Christmas, we were getting into the rhythm of um, making yourself a nice uh, coffee to go. Uh, in the mornings, uh, I was using my Nespresso machine. I was like, I've got loads of pods here. I'm gonna um, knock up myself a really nice big mug of coffee, a uh, cup of tea, whatever you fancy in the summertime, water, iced water. Keep yourself hydrated. Um, yeah, big priority. And I, I must admit, when you you set off on your little journey, and uh, you know you you you're having a swig of coffee, and um, you know, and, and then you're sort of like putting it down in the holder again, and then um, you know you're, you're keeping your set, and it's sort of keeping you alert. Um, and and that good night's sleep you saw me at Chris, christmas night i move locations i knew the next day i had some driving to do and i do not want my sleep broken um you get these like 
guys spinning around. You know, I can't, I can't relax. I'm, a, I'm somewhere. I don't know where I'm. You know, and uh, you, you need to relax and get that sleep. Uh, that is priority, and uh, that's why I always try and uh, get somewhere. At the end of the day, if you're having a dodgy and a layby somewhere, and there's traffic going by, and uh, you, you don't, you, you, you don't feel that. Um, alert in the morning you you haven't had your sufficient quota of sleep so that is um, another top priority for me is do you know get the best sleep you possibly can and um, you know like say if you if you know you've got that long journey try and be disciplined get your head down early and uh, Sometimes I, I, I've started like um, when, when we sort of return on a ferry now, we used to do ridiculously early ferry crossings and you'd be like getting up five o'clock in the morning and four o'clock in the morning to to get yourself ready to get down the ferry port to get back home um, I'm steering away from that now. I, I tend to like, I want to sort of like try and if you're not in a mad panic to get back, which you shouldn't be, you know, if you're, um, you need to give yourself that time. Um, I'm always in a mad panic to get around Europe, but uh, yeah, I've, ne I've never got enough time. But um, but yeah, so I've, I've literally changed my way. I look at it when I'm returning now that I try and um, stay away. You know, I, I sometimes keep back away from the port if it's going to be. Again, we've seen motorhomes actually park down on the port and. Uh, there's constant ferry noise all night there's lorries uh, and there's there's i can't sleep through that I, I, I can't do it i can't do it and there's lights uh, you know i know you can pull the blinds and and all that kind of thing but um right well on we go again um so sat nav so having your sat nav and a actually kind of like aware of the place you want to end up unless you want to be a, a, a bit adventurous and you're not sure you know if you've got that time out and uh, um, like us we tend to try and hit on place I sort of like try and hit on places um, if you're just on a gentle jolly and it doesn't matter where you end up and you've had enough and uh, look on your camper contact get the nearest off you go park up um, but uh, sometimes if you're set a destination to go somewhere make sure that you've got the right corona um, place name in your sat nav um, make sure everything's tickety boo you don't uh, we've we've sometimes got somewhere and uh, you're nearly at your destination and there'll be a diversion that happens to us <laughs> it's just uh, it's one of those things it's happened many a time we're like and uh, you're just sort of um, coming to the end of a long drive and it can uh, sort of fatigue you so that sat nav thing, I'm always going on about sat navs and how useful they are and uh, how you get round <laughs> busy places with sat navs, Antwerp, Bordeaux, I'm always saying it, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, so that's that bit. Um, another thing is, um, uh, which I did actually um, a couple of playlists on this trip, I uh, when I'm sort of like thinking about my trip and uh, sort of even like the music that's going with that trip <laughs> that i'm going to listen to on on the uh, on the road trip um i tend to um build um some playlists so i'll get one that's uh, a bit of momentum sometimes if i want to get in the mood a little bit you know a bit of momentum a bit of rocky stuff maybe uh, and some uh, we listen to a lot of um 70s stuff 80s stuff um, and you know have a bit of more relaxing kind of music when you're getting up in the morning and because uh, obviously if you're trying to listen to foreign radio um, not so good trying to find a radio station that you can listen to you know if you're not having too much of a conversation we're always uh, <laughs> talking listen to tunes um, so yeah, I, I built a couple of playlists the other day, and it went remarkably well. And uh, we and and quite a few songs in the playlist, so not too much uh, re repetitiveness, and um, that's quite soothing. You know, it just takes the. Um, I, I do love when you're obviously in. Um, unfamiliar territory um when we were in uh, switzerland where the roads are just like that when you're when you get to that stage of like the drive that becomes so nice because that is what you're 
that's what it's all about. I'm driving, looking at epic scenery. Um, you know, like I said before, when I get to Basingstoke on the uh, the M3, not so scenic, especially in the rain, and uh, the M25, not so scenic whatsoever. But um, yeah, when you get on them drives, that makes that get that gets you alive. Then that that gets you alive. That sort of like takes you through. Um, yeah, that's um, monotonous. You, you you get sort of uh, roads that are quite monotonous sometimes, and um, um, and and yeah, talking about that awareness thing again. Um, you know, you need to be kind of aware all the time especially with winter driving, how the conditions can change so quick. Um, and I did mention before where we were coming up from the Czech Republic up towards Dresden, back into Germany, and there was a couple of tunnels and we came through this tunnel and then we exited the tunnel and oh my God, the wind, we were like, where did this come from? This, this is how the weather can change so fast. And um, yeah, some of these, you, you know what it's like in England on the motorway when you get these super downpours of rain, you get these super flash thunderstorms and all of a sudden the traffic, that's when you've got to be aware. Uh, that's when you've got to be 100% alert all of a sudden. And um, the norm now, as you like probably are all pretty aware is the fact that the hazard lights come on if you've got some in breath you know you've got trucks coming up behind you get your tr hazard lights on caroline has been like doing it for me these days i've got like what's going on? you've hit the button for me dunk hit the button get them hazards on and always remember uh it's a real big thing in europe now where uh if you're coming to a bit of a um standstill on the motorway keep that wide gap let that channel up through the middle for the emergency services because they do not there there is no messing around everybody is parting to let emergency services come for, right through the center now it's um a really big thing in europe now and uh, you don't want to be the one that sat in the middle with a, a police car fire engine ambulance behind you because um you're gonna get slaughtered for it but um yeah just another one that i'm putting out there the other thing that I was going to say is the fact that obviously getting yourself something to eat is always important as well and obviously you're in the right place you're in your motorhome you've got plenty of food in the fridge and uh, you you need to your if your energy level starts dropping keep your energy level up um, the other one is um, it's always nice to have a breather sometimes get out and uh, stretch your legs, get some fresh air. We're always doing, I'm always doing that because I'm literally like, I'm stopping here. I'm taking a photograph. I'm doing some video. So uh, I'm, I'm normally back in, here we go again. You know what I mean? So in and out of the van, getting some breathers and um, uh, getting your, you know, keeping yourself moving, keep yourself active. And um, I love driving this van because it's, automatic um, it does for me take the stress out of long drives uh, yeah so uh, if you're looking to buy a motorhome and uh, you know that's, that's my advice I, I, I've had manuals I've had loads of manuals and now the automatic gearbox is so nice it just literally does take that stress away from your driving and um, yeah just make yourself comfortable get yourself in the comfortable position um, yeah, I'm, I'm literally uh, going to be checking out these Fitville trainers that I've just got through recently because uh, I wanted I, I wanted them purely um, for something very comfortable to drive in, and uh, you know if, if I need to like. Um, um, get get out in uh, bad weather or i'll just slip into something that's more suitable but actually doing long drives get your feet sometimes i will not too advisable but sometimes because you haven't obviously got a clutch to push down sometimes my clutch foot will uh come out of whatever i'm wearing and uh give it a little stretch around and stuff uh give it some air especially in the summertime um not advisable to wear flip-flops that i've been picked up before <laughs> um which is a it's it's probably a bloody good suggestion really because uh, they the flip-flops are probably the bad things that get but i'm normally wearing my vans to be fair i normally wear a good pair of vans and uh, that gives you grip on your pedals and it's a comfortable shoe to wear so um that's another one and uh, yeah i think that just about concludes my little uh driver kind of like awareness thing and um if there's any tips that you can offer um 
on hydration, drinks, water, juices, <laughs> coffee, liquids that you have, snacks that you have on the road. Um, give us a message and uh, it's always interesting to find out new stuff from different people and uh, different people's um, driving techniques. But um, I love my drive. I, I literally just love sitting in this motorhome and this is transported in so many places and uh, yeah, so um, we'll look forward to catching you mighty soon. I hope you you know, maybe just uh, giving you a couple of extra little pointers there. Um, uh, again, if you're specking your motor home and, uh, you know, if you want advice from me, go for that automatic gearbox and uh, a fixed bed. It's um, so, so nice. So nice. Right, that's it for me then. I'm going to go and rip this video as I normally do on a uh, on a night like tonight. So I'm going to go and rip the video, get it out in a couple of hours, and then you can watch it and uh, give me a comment. I don't get enough comments. People people have been making a few comments, but I don't seem to get a, a lot of comments back. And I need I need information from you guys as well um, about driving techniques, tips. Tip, give me some. Give me something back to talk about, <laughs> please. <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks a lot for uh, watching, guys, and big thumbs up to you guys for watching this video, and you know the score. We'll catch you mighty soon on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, bye.